Why pick an SSD to begin with? Well, it's all about speed, as SSDs are much faster than spinning hard drives when it comes to booting up your PC and offer faster read-write speeds. There are three types of SSDs you should be aware of. SATA 2.5-inch SSDs, M.2 SATA SSDs, and M.2 NVMe PCIe SSDs. SATA is a standard for connecting and transferring data from hard disk drives to computer systems. All current spinning hard drives connect to your computer over the SATA port which is located on your computer's motherboard. The maximum transfer speed supported by SATA 3 is 6 Gbps. Moving on, the M.2 connector allows you to connect much faster SSDs in comparison to the SATA connector. A SATA 2.5-inch SSD uses the SATA connector and can be up to 3 to 5 times faster than a regular spinning hard drive. These can be installed in both laptops and desktops. An M.2 SATA SSD is much smaller than your 2.5-inch SATA SSD and can also be 3 to 5 times faster than regular spinning drives. It can be installed in both laptops and desktops that have a compatible M.2 connector. Now the M.2 connector can either support SATA or PCI Express, also known as PCIe for short. Sometimes the M.2 connector can support both SATA and PCIe. This brings us to the third type of SSD which is the M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD. This type of SSD is capable of transfer rates up to 40 Gbps which is almost 7 times faster than a SATA SSD. The M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD can also be installed in both laptop and desktops which have the compatible M.2 connector. In this video, we will help you identify what kind of SSD will be compatible with your laptop or desktop based on one of the three following scenarios. Scenario 1. Replacing your old spinning hard drive with an SSD. Scenario 2. Adding an SSD to your system without removing your old spinning hard drive. Scenario 3. Upgrading your M.2 SSD. Scenario 1. Replacing your old spinning hard drive with an SSD. All laptop manufacturers in the last 5-7 to seven years will have a SATA 3 connector and will usually have a 2.5-inch internal hard drive connected to this. This 2.5-inch internal hard drive can easily be replaced with any 2.5-inch SATA 3 SSD. All you have to do is literally swap out the old hard drive with the new SATA 3 SSD. This works the same for both laptops and desktops. Scenario 2. Adding an SSD to your system without removing your old spinning hard drive. Now let's say you don't want to get rid of your old hard disk, but you want to add a SATA SSD to your system so that it boots faster. On a desktop computer, this is what you need to do. Now as you can see in my hands, I am holding the black SATA SSD with the SATA connector held below. There are two connecting cables you will need. One is the power cable and the other is the data cable. Simply plug these in as shown and then screw the SATA SSD into the slot and you are good to go. Apart from adding the SSD to the SATA port as just shown, you can also add an M.2 SSD to the M.2 port instead as shown here. Do note that M.2 ports can support both SATA 3 SSDs and the faster NVMe SSDs. However, sometimes they only support one or the other. To ascertain whether your M.2 port supports either SATA or NVMe SSD or both, you need to first check the specifications page of the motherboard or laptop. Shown here, this motherboard has two M.2 connectors, one that supports both SATA 3 and PCIe and another that just supports PCIe only. This means that on the first M.2 port, you can connect both the M.2 SATA SSD or the faster M.2 NVMe SSD. On the second M.2 port, that is port 2, only an M.2 NVMe SSD will work. Had you connected an M.2 SATA SSD to this second port, it would fit but it would not work. Secondly, another way to ascertain what M.2 standard your machine supports is to check the user manual or the service manual for this information.
Thirdly, if after checking the specifications page and the users and service manuals, you still cannot find out what M.2 SSD is supported, then you should reach out to the manufacturer's service center and ask them whether the M.2 slot on your machine supports SATA 3 or NVMe SSD or both. Scenario 3, upgrading your existing M.2 SSD. Now, if your system already shipped with an M.2 drive, you're going to find upgrading it rather easy. Once again, the SATA 3 versus NVMe might arise, but you can use a tool called Crystal Disk Info to determine whether the M.2 port runs on SATA or PCIe NVMe. You can download this tool from crystaldiskinfo.com and once installed, the very first scene will give you all the information you need. When you run the tool, look for the interface settings in the window. This will either say NVMe or Serial ATA SATA, revealing the kind of drive your laptop or desktop currently has running. If you have multiple drives installed, you can look up information on all of their connectors as well. Based on the interface type, you can now go ahead and purchase an SSD with the same interface, making the replacement easy and headache free. If you already have a SATA M.2 drive and want to know if you can upgrade to an NVMe M.2 drive, just follow the same process of going through the user and service manual for your machine as we stated in the previous section. We hope that this video has been helpful in making you feel more comfortable when it comes to choosing the right SSD for your desktop or laptop. However, before we sign off, we do want to share a few disclaimers. First, upgrading your desktop or laptop component requires a certain amount of skill and patience. It is critical that you research the machine you have, especially with regards to its compatibility with third-party components. Secondly, we have for now left out mentions of PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. This is because this is a new PCIe standard which is supported by a very limited number of desktop motherboards only. Lastly, we suggest you take help from an expert to install an SSD in case you do not have experience doing it yourself. Before buying and installing internal SSDs, do check with your desktop or laptop brand's service center if there would be any adverse effect on the warranty if the laptop or desktop is under warranty as you would be opening the laptop and installing a new component. Above all, as we've shown you, please check for compatibility before you purchase the SSD.